Oh Their general's my. charging my cavalry. Well, I'll charge back. Nothing like a good counter charge. <laughs> Do you have wedge formation? Because if you have wedge formation, you should, you should use wedge formation. Well, it's too late now. Hello, fellow viewers, Blink here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Some Shogun 2. Joining me once again is Talisman. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy, I know. Hey. Stop. Hey, dude. No, okay, we're done with that. Uh, last episode we did, Talisman wiped the floor with this guy over here. Oh my gosh. All those bomb, those grenade, gr grenadiers, or whatever they're, whatever they're called, man. I'm, I'm building more. You're building more. God, I'm glad you're on my side, you sick fuck. Alright, so he dealt with his little problem. Now I gotta deal with a bit of mine, which is this guy is coming in right now. I mean, I have a force up here of uh, four uh, horsemen, which they're not full strength, but they're still a force to be reckoned with. Uh, two um, spearmen and two archers. I ha brought my other army down here to try to help reinforce, but... You know, it's 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 going to be close. It's going to be a hard one. Yep, it's going to be a hard one. All right, so what do you think I should just go out there and attack them head on or oh, let them come to me? It depends on how quickly they move. Because if you're going to have to end your turn and see how, fa how far they can go, I should say. And if they manage to make it to your castle, you may be able to use that army as a reinforcement army if you sally forth from your castle. All right, then we'll do that. Let's check out uh, my mastery first. See how that's going. That's coming up soon. All right, everything's good. Uh, we will end my turn here and continue on. Oh, man, this game is so much fun. Ah, oh, I'm loving this. But yeah, that battle last episode. Wow. <laughs> It's pretty good. You did a lot better though this time. I I can see a lot of our in my in my my fans, our our, our watchers are uh, giving you a, oh fuck. Uh, I think you should just. Well, no, I have retainers. <laughs> Shit. If he decides to attack it, he might have a problem. No, he didn't. Did he? No. What's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna spectate whatever happens. Uh, yeah, he's attacking. I only have retainers. Are they good or are they bad? Well, retainers. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know whether I should fight it or auto resolve it. Um. Auto resolve it. I'm gonna lose. But then again, my army's like right here. Go for it. You can recapture it back shortly. Yeah, I'm just gonna auto resolve it real quick. Come on. There we go. How many did I kill? Seventeen. Wow, that's pretty shit. I could have done better. Probably. And they oh. are moving in. They left us some unit back there. Fuck. Shizen. Well then. Um. <laughs> what's he gonna well, do? I, he's attacking. What? Well, okay, here we go. Okay. Um. I can't have the other force as a. Uh. No. <laughs> so, you got. Two two options here. Fight it, which is what yep. I'm gonna do. Yeah, you're gonna have to fight it, but I'm talking tactics wise. You can chill inside your fort and try to hold them off until they all run away. And if you end up beating their attack, you should be able to just have the second army come in and finish them off. All right. So but let's let's just see the the battlefield how it looks first. Let's see. Oh my God, they're gonna be anywhere. I don't. That's the only thing. It sucks. You don't know which direction they're gonna come from. I think the best thing I could do, oh, well, one thing I am going to do, whatever side they spawn at, I'm going to get my horses and go out the opposite direction and flank around them. So when they do decide to attack, my horse is going to flank into them and kill them. That's what I'm going to have to do for first off, no matter what. Well, let's see what the battlefield looks like. Oh, oh. Ooh, okay. well, this is different. I like this temple. Or not temple, but I like this fortress. It's actually pretty cool. Um... Well, my archers are all over there, so I assume that's where they're going to be coming from. Don't forget your archery towers. Those are pretty... Ooh. Can they actually go in those? 
No, it's they're already pre-garrisoned, but it's a capturable tower. Wait, so there's guys in there? Well, yes, but it's just it's it's a structure that automatically has troops in it, and they'll attack. And the, the troops don't die, but the building can be captured and used by the other side. But what I'm saying, you're, what you're saying though, is it's another type of defensive structure. Cool. And yes, is this an upgraded uh, fort? This is level two. Yes. So I'm definitely well, going to upgrade to level think, three. Yeah, <laughs> level three forts, I think, actually get another tier of like uh, defenses. You know what I mean by that is there's literally like another tier to the fortress. It's like a tiered fortress, you know what I mean? Yep. Alright, let's get those there. I don't have any idea of the enemy deployments. Him here. Oh, these are the gates you can burn down. So, oh, well, he did mention one of your viewers. Don't yeah. remember his name, but he knows who he is. Mentioned yeah. you can burn down gates with any unit. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, okay oh. so he's making my mistake right off the bat. So there you go. <laughs> Let me get um, them out. I'm gonna take my horses out the other side. Uh, where is the general? Oh, you should. Oh, well, there's all his generals on the right flank. If I can get over there and take out his general, he's got. Well, no, he, I wouldn't do that with your cavalry. He's got uh, pikemen, samurai defending his general, and not to mention he's got two general units. Well, I got so my archers I, on that side, ready to engage. He's got one unit of archers, standalone. I'd go after that. Easy kill. Alright, I'll then do that with my horses. he's got two units of pikemen pushing up, followed in front by one unit of bow. And if he's retarded, he'll try to climb the walls using the bow, because <laughs> they're going to be out of range of your units if they advance from that vector. And what, Yari Samurai, and then two Peasant. So we got two groups of Samurai so far. And the rest is just Peasant Pikemen. Interesting day. Oh, where the fuck are his generals are doing some weird shit? Alright, he's sending in his Samurai. Well. Oh, there go the archers. Mine? Yes. Well, he killed, he killed one. Now two. Three. Look, his general's all alone. Yeah, his generals are staying just out of range. Should I go after him with my horses, or take out the archers? I, personally, wait for their uh, samurai to charge up and murder them as quickly as you can with bows. And then if the samurai go down, you can attempt. But... You know, General Calvary is the strongest cavalry you can make early tier. But if you have enough, what is it? Do you have heavy, heavy cavalry or light cavalry? Um, regular. Uh, it's light superior cavalry. Well, don't forget, you also you have General Calvary with that. Well, it might be enough. I gotta stay away because I got. Well, your cavalry is just like casually walking up on the bow, on the bowman. Like, hey, what's going on, guys? Here's a spear. Oh, here we go. They're pushing hard on the left. Once we kill these guys, I gotta run. Hey, keep an eye on their fort. There's, yeah, uh, you got samurai climbing the walls your bows are on. Keep an eye on that. Also, the peasants are storming one side of the wall. Alright, enemies have breached the fortifications. Well, where are you guys going? Apparently to war. Pretty much. So, what are you gonna do if you cover it? I'm gonna get my cavalry to go around the back and take out that general. Because they're just going to follow my horses around, I, and I will let them. You better go fight from the other side. Our general sorry. is in grave danger, my lord! I, uh, alright then. Oh, you, oh, that's right, you have two generals. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, my other general's with the cavalry. Sure me. Looks like they're 
peasant infantry is attacking your infantry. But you see how what they're doing is they just gave it attack order. So the infantry is going in in like individual <laughs> units. This is hilarious. And they get killed a lot easier and that breaks their morale. Which is a relatively easy mistake the AI tends to make a Their lot. general's charging my cavalry. Well, I'll charge back. Nothing like a good counter charge. <laughs> Do you have wedge formation? Because if you have wedge formation, you should, you should use wedge formation. Well, it's too late now. Just saying, if you do get wedge formation in the future, it's great for breaking the cavalry charges as cavalry. Wow. Well, he for fucked up big time. Well, their morale isn't breaking, but they're all going to be dead extremely fast. Oh, there's one general down. There we go. Most of the units are just breaking. The archers are just like hauling ass. They're like, nope, 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 nope. We got this. We got a whale under control. I love. This is so bad. I love. They're, you're climbing like one of the tallest walls on your compound. They're just all slipping off and dying. It's hilarious. Got guys coming in from the rear. Big cavalry melee happening. <laughs> The enemy general has lost a little over a tenth of their strength. Oh, watch out. Move your cavalry. I'm already on it. Breaking through and saying bye. Bye bye. Yeah, killed one general good enough. Oh no. Wow. Yeah. Most of my horses got away. And now we'll just go oh, around. If he follows you, that's. Oh, there's only ten enemy uh, horsemen left. I only see two underneath the banner, but you know, who am I to judge? Oh, they're following you. Like How I said, convenient. yeah, I just gotta keep running. Mm -hmm. Yari samurai are attacking your samurai retainers and getting their ass kicked. Yep. You know the story behind the samurai face mask, right? Just to intimidate their enemies? If I remember Japanese mythology correctly, it's before battle they'd pray to demons from hell to come fight beside them and they'd wear masks to disguise themselves from the demons they'd fight besides so they wouldn't mistake them as men. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I could be totally wrong. Yeah! Turn that around. Uh, I mean... There wasn't much. You weren't losing, so turning around is not an applicable. Well, I, I, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that was. <laughs> Indeed. All right, so let's see what happens. He may break and run away, or he he's gonna break. It doesn't matter what happens. Yeah, he just ran for it. Yeah. Well, that happens every time you break a seed. Oh, was that my home province? Alright. It says, oh, army lost. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, yeah, hold on. I demand surrender. No, I can't. Not in this one. Wow. I should probably... Are you gonna attack? <laughs> uh, I should, I'm just gonna siege them out for now. It's just... Alright, no. oh, 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 well my guys are taking nutrition, actually I might attack. Alright, if you're gonna attack, I'll end the episode here. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, so that's going to end this episode. I know it's a little shorter than the last one, but hey, I want to get prepared fresh for the next episode for the battle. So thank you all for watching. If you have any comments that you're feeling up about this episode, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.